Hey everyone, I am Fitzy64, and uh, welcome to my playthrough of Unfair Mario. Uh, <laughs> it is very interesting to be back at this game, and if everything uh, goes according to plan, this uh, video will be released on the five year anniversary of my very first video, uh, which coincidentally uh, is also Unfair Mario. And a lot of stuff has changed on my channel since then. So uh, I think that I'm gonna, what, talk a bit about how my channel has grown and what's changed while I play through this. So uh, let's get started. Um, during my original <laughs> gameplay, uh, I played through a bit of it thinking I was recording and then found that it was corrupted <laughs> or something. So um, thankfully this most likely won't happen this time if everything works better. So, let's see. All right, so use the arrow keys to move Mario. Can I use Wasty? I cannot use Wasty. That's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. Okay, so, um, yeah, uh, I have not played this game in so long. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure if I jumped on that one, that would have killed me. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I genuinely haven't played this game since I, oh, yeah, there is my very first death. Um, <laughs> yeah, man, I remember back in the day, I used to watch people get so mad playing this game. Um, and it's it's somewhat fun to... what I'm, I, I'm not one to get tilted. Uh, but... All right. <laughs> and I jumped right on it, nice. Um, yeah, I'm not one to get tilted, uh, but... Yeah, just what seeing all these popular YouTubers like I think Markiplier and PewDiePie played uh, Unfair Mario. So uh, that was probably my biggest <laughs> inspiration uh, for starting my channel. Um, so. Yeah, I've, I've, man, I, I sent, I genuinely haven't played this game in so long. Um, yeah, I don't remember how many deaths I had, but, uh, it was definitely, no, that was my, that was my own fault. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Let me, let me think about the, the progression of my channel. So, pass these blocks underneath. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna kill me, right? Oh, it didn't. Nice. Ow. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, let's see. How, how did my channel progress? So... <laughs> um, man, it's hard to <laughs> multitask, but... Let's see. Uh, my first, I, I made my channel on August 3rd of 2015. Forgot about that bit. Um, yeah, so I made my channel on August 3rd of 2015, which was, I think, the very beginning of 7th grade for me. Um, and what, since then... Man, <laughs> all right, so uh, what, since then, I, I made my, I posted my very first video on the 20th, or either the 20th, the 21st, or the 22nd of September, whenever this video is being uploaded, but five years ago, and uh, it was Unfair Mario, because, what, that seemed like something free that I could record, and uh, and post it out there, and so, yeah, that's what I did. Um, and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, although I did not have the tools I should have had. Um, I didn't learn how to use open broadcaster software or OBS until like 10th grade. So for three years, I was floundering around trying to find good recording software. I think I, I initially used a program called Camtasia Studio 9, which is awful. It's horrible. It costs like three hundred dollars, and it's got like it's it's an editing software, but it's also recording software, 
And that's what the appeal was to me. Uh, because it was just like, oh, I just record and it's there. Um, but what, then the 30 day free trial ran out and I did some screwy stuff to my computer that allowed me to use it for a few more months. But, uh, yeah, um, it, it was not good. So then I, I stopped making gameplay videos and uh, I started making music content where um, I would what so I played I've played the trumpet since the sixth grade I started my channel in seventh grade and I actually my original name for my channel uh, was Fitz trumpet gamer uh, as sort of a uh, <laughs> alternate version of mystery guitar man because he was another huge inspiration let me let me think about hold on <laughs> All right, so for the gaming side of my channel, I was hugely inspired by like what Markiplier and and PewDiePie. Obviously, those are some pretty big guys. At least they were then. They they are still now, but yeah. So Markiplier and PewDiePie, they were by far probably my my biggest inspirations of what play uh playing games and posting it, and then. Mystery Guitar Man and Smooth McGroove uh, were by far my biggest um, inspirations for what making uh, my music content, which was brass covers of um, didn't see that one there before. <laughs> uh, making brass covers of video game music uh, with. Yeah, and so, boy, that was kind of before, like, the massive popularity of multi-track recording where everyone plays the same part, um, or one person plays all the same parts and stuff, uh, so, uh, that was very difficult to get into, especially with me only knowing how to use Camtasia Studio 9 which had a limited trial and Windows Movie Maker. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was that was basically the beginning of my channel. Um, <laughs> I've yeah, I I have not played this in so long. Okay. Yeah, um, let's see. Uh, so then, what? Uh, I, I did gaming content for a very short amount of time. Um, a very, very, very short amount of time. Oh, that's a horrible noise right there. Love that. <laughs> um, yeah, so... That's terrifying. Uh, I forgot about that. But um, let's see. What all did I do? Um, so I made content until like the middle of 2016, and then I stopped because um, I think Windows Movie Maker uh, just stopped working for me for some reason, and that was very disappointing. Um, Cause like I'd always. I'd, I'd enjoyed making content, and I didn't stop because I didn't want to. I just, um, things weren't working well. Um, <laughs> not expecting that. Um, but yeah, so, from there, uh, what all did I do? In 2018, um, I don't remember who I was directly inspired by. Probably Clint Stevens... And simple flips, um, who are really huge. <laughs> nice try. Um, who are really huge speedrunners. Uh, I got interested in speedrunning Super Mario 64. Uh, and so I started doing speedruns of Super Mario 64 in around 20, late, late 20, either the beginning of 2018 or the end of 2018. I don't know. Either way, it was the, the second semester of my sophomore year in high school. Um, and 
it was really fun. I enjoyed it. Um, it allowed me to figure out how to finally use uh, OBS, which is actually what I'm using to record this right now. Uh, and it's very, very helpful because I don't have to, what, record my webcam separately and then record the video separately. And I can actually design stuff the way I want to record it. And it's, it's so helpful. Um, but yeah, so I started doing speedruns then, uh, and that's also when I started getting into making memes. Uh, so I, I downloaded a, a free editing software called Shotcut, uh, which is what, uh, the YouTuber Sethical, uh, used to make his boneless pizza videos, which are... I'd say they're pretty huge, pretty pretty prevalent. Um, <laughs> nice try. <laughs> I thought I went off. Oh well. Um, but yeah, so I downloaded Shotcut, and I uh, I started making content again. Um, So, um, yeah, that's, that's where I, that's where I got back into the, the groove of, of making things that I really loved and stuff. Um, so, um, oh no, I've got to make a decision. Which one? This one. Oh. Maybe it, maybe it was actually the one I was pointing at. I don't know. Maybe it's double reverse psychologying me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I downloaded Shotcut, and from there I started making uh what meme videos, and I also started making mashups. Although I think that I was doing mashups a little bit before then. Um, and that was another really fun thing. Um, I don't know who inspired me to do those. I think it was Galactic Hole, uh, who's the guy who did the, uh, you reposted in everyone's neighborhood, uh, with the, uh, what, that being a huge mashup of, um, a bunch of songs combined. Well, he just went flying. <laughs> not sure if that's supposed to happen or not. Um, but yeah, so I started making mashups too. And I just got back into the groove of making content. And uh, it was really fun. And yeah, so that was, that was about 2018, I think. And then, let's see, my junior year of... Uh, of high school I didn't do much <laughs> of course um, yeah I didn't do much in terms of content my junior year of high school besides uh, speed runs and stuff <laughs> hmm gotta figure out how to oh okay <laughs> well now I know how to get over it you know speaking of getting over it this was basically the original getting over it I think. Oh, it does fall down. Okay, <laughs> it's very hard to tell when I'm when uh, something's being serious or when it's not being serious. So it's like what reverse psychology and then double reverse psychology and then <laughs> great. Um, but yeah, so my junior year I didn't do much in terms of making content. Um, because while I was focusing on school, I was I was very, very miserable in my junior year of high school because, um, what, uh, that was when I was doing all my, my really hard classes, as most juniors in high school do. I remember that right there. <laughs> uh, but then, let's see. Okay, well, I know that's a thing now. Um, yeah, so my junior year, I didn't do much. And then my senior year, uh, that was when I really got back into video editing uh, because of quarantine. That was uh, basically 
Actually, that's not true. Uh, senior year, uh, during the la last like few months, like November and December, uh, the American Dad speedrun memes were getting very popular. And since I was a uh, very, very amateur speedrunner, um, I decided to uh, try and edit a meme of that. And that was my probably my first big break on YouTube. That was my first video that got 5,000 views. And it got 5,000 views in like the span of a week, which was insane to me. Uh, I had never seen anything like it. So that was really my big boost to like try and start making content for real and like actually try and put in a grind. And um, yeah, that was that was basically the beginning of it all. Uh, in terms of like where I am now um, and like if I hadn't made that meme I don't know what I'd be doing now I'd probably just be focusing on on college um, oh yeah I'm in college now I forgot to mention that that's something huge that's changed uh, for my channel um, still using the same uh, same laptop that I've had since seventh grade though um, or kind of, I don't know. Well, I'm I'm technically using the same laptop. I've actually got it right here. <laughs> Side. I'm I'm digressing, but yep, here it is. My uh my original laptop from se Christmas in in seventh grade, or what? Actually, or uh, I guess Christmas of sixth grade. Um. Yeah, so it, I've had this this laptop for so long, uh, and it actually died on me, so I had to reboot the whole thing. And now I'm on a different laptop, but um, I'm still using that original laptop. Um, but yeah, um, so <laughs> um, yeah, so I managed to get. A, uh, a copy of Sony Vegas, which is very nice. Um, and it's definitely helped me with my ability to edit things. Like now I do all my mashups in Sony Vegas and stuff. And it is... Okay, checkpoint, nice. <laughs> of course. Um, but, uh... guess I've got to be fast then. Alright. So, uh... Okay, I guess you can't kill Goombas in this game. Um... Yeah, so let's see. Um... So yeah, that was the very end of, of 2019. When... <laughs> when I made that, uh... What? American Dad meme. And that was... That was pretty cool to see that I could make something and it blow up on the internet. I, I don't imagine this will because this game is probably is definitely more than five years old at this point. Yep, of course. Uh, but uh, let's see, what all did I do? I guess the start of this year, uh, before quarantine even happened, um, did I make anything? I, I think I made a few basic memes, um, but when when the quarantine finally came upon us, um, or, oh wait, I almost I almost forgot to mention something huge. So uh, what for my senior year of high school, I had a very interesting class called directed study and it was basically you make your own curriculum and you do the stuff in your curriculum Ooh, I don't know what to do here I'm gonna wait a bit and I'll talk so um yeah so basically you made your own curriculum so what I did is I made my curriculum that I would do music stuff so one of the cool things I did was I arranged uh, music for um what yeah so I, I arranged music for the 
class, which basically means that I took an already existing music piece. Like for example, uh, there's this really cool song called Rolling Down the Street in my Katamari. Uh, awesome song. Uh, and what I did is I made a multi-track recording of that song. So uh, it's basically I arranged every part so that I could be played by trumpet. And then I recorded all those parts individually and pieced them all together. And the, uh, the finished product was really cool. Um, and that's one of the coolest things I've done, uh, in my opinion. So yeah, that was something huge that I did my senior year. Um, and I, I made it through. Awesome. Uh, and so besides that, uh, I think I took a little bit of a break from YouTube and I... Dead again, huh? That's not fair. Let's see me to the next level. I forgot about that. That's funny. <laughs> I just said, I don't care. I'll see what happens. Uh, what are the odds of that? Okay. Ooh. Okay. That's something. Um, but yeah, so I made, uh, I, I watched a little bit of this anime, a very popular anime called Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. And it's, uh, very interesting. Uh, it's, it's very bizarre as the, uh, as the title, uh, proclaims. And uh, its family tree is also very, very strange. Uh, so what I did, <laughs> if I can, I, I can't get through this, I don't think. Uh, what I did is I made a video detailing the family tree of, uh, of the show. Can I not get through there? Maybe I'm missing something. Is there something over here? No. That's... <laughs> Imagine going, yeah, there I'll die. Okay, so then I have to jump. Now I understand, vaguely. Well, that sucks. That's not how it would work in regular Mario, but this is no ordinary Mario, my friend. Um, <laughs> of course. Um, but yeah, so I uploaded that uh, family tree video, and that was my first video to get 10,000 views, uh, which was absolutely insane to me. Like, uh, and it showed that hard work really did pay off uh, when it came to making videos. So um, yeah, that's that's when I really, really, really got into making stuff. And why well, I was pumping out memes fairly often. Uh, I think that over half of my videos have been videos I've made in 2020 or like in the past year. Now I'm forgetting what I'm supposed to do in this. So, um, yeah, I've really gotten into the groove of making videos and stuff, and it's great, and I'm really enjoying it. Um, and I don't know where, uh, everything will bring me next. Um, it's honestly insane that, uh, what, some of my videos, I think one of my videos got 2,000 views in 24 hours. <coughs> okay. Um, and then another of my videos, um, got, th I think it has over 30,000 views right now, which is something that I never would have expected. Um, and also my, uh, subscriber count at the beginning of the year, it was around like 50 and now it's at 230 something, uh, which is just absolutely insane to me. Like I would have never expected I think I literally just said this, but I would have never expected to get this far. Oh, it's the nice number. <laughs> okay. Uh, but it's it's honestly amazing. Um, like, I don't expect that I'll ever be able to do this full time. Uh, and this has always been just a, a 
a fun hobby to me. But it's just really cool to see how far um, I've been able to go in doing this. Uh, I've got like over a hundred thousand views on my channel. That's that's a number I never would have expected. One one hundred thousand clicks on on my videos is absolutely insane to me. Um, and another reason why it's so insane to me is because, <laughs> um, what I I don't try and make stuff that'll that'll get clicks like i've always been i've always been a person who wants to do the things that they want to make like i don't know um a lot of the stuff that i make is stream of consciousness meme videos that i that i love to make and i don't know it's been that that's what I've been loving making and some stuff has been able to be a big hit and some stuff is some of my my more impressive things in my opinion have gotten 40 views um, but that's just how how life is sometimes I guess but it still is absolutely amazing to see just how how much of an impact I've been <laughs> able to have on uh, on the internet like obviously it's not that big of an impact obviously but um i don't know it's 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 more than most people can say like what there's 7 billion almost probably i think almost 8 billion people on the planet right now and i don't know the the fact that i have been able to be like witnessed by like a fraction of a percent of the number of people is still is still insane to me. It's still it still is a huge accomplishment. Don't know what happened there, but okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't I don't know where um uh, this channel is gonna take me. Uh, I don't know what all I'll do on it. I've got a lot of ideas in my in my back pocket though. I've got a I think I've got I've got over a dozen meme ideas I've been sitting on because they're very time consuming to make. Um I've got some video essays that I want to do. Um I made one DIY video um talking about how I made my Game Boy Advance style intro. Um and I don't know, that's kind of gotten me on the idea of a DIY grind. I guess. Oh, I don't think I ever made it past here. Of course. <laughs> of course. Um, but, yeah, I've got some DIY ideas. I've got some 30-day challenge ideas. Um, and I've just got a lot of cool ideas for for things I want to make and I'm glad that I've I'm a creative person uh, and that this is a creative outlet for me like th this is all that this channel is really it's just a, a creative outlet for me to do things that I think are fun uh, I've always been under the I, I I've, I've always operated under the idea that if something isn't fun why do it um, so like yeah, I don't, I don't know how exactly to go off of this tangent, but um, yeah, everything that I've posted on this channel has been stuff that I've enjoyed making and just, I don't know, I've, yeah. Um, so, I mean, if I, if I stop having fun making videos, I guess I won't make any, but I don't see that happening anytime soon, unless something, like, traumatic <laughs> happens or something, I don't know. Ooh, nice. Checkpoint. Um, but, yeah. Um, I've... I've really enjoyed making content so far, and, I don't know. I don't really have a goal at this point. Uh... At some point, I, I definitely would like to be uh, able to monetize my channel. <laughs> uh, that would that would be something really, 
really cool that I would love to accomplish. No, I can't ride that all the way to the end, I guess. Um, yeah, being able to monetize my channel would be something huge for me. Um, it would be a, a nice way to have something on the side that I can use to get a little bit of monetary gain. Uh, admittedly not a lot, but a little better than nothing. Uh, <laughs> so, um... How was I close to that spike? <laughs> uh, but, yeah. I don't know, I've... I've just always really enjoyed making this stuff, and um, hopefully I continue. Nice. Okay. But yeah, um, a lot of stuff has changed on my channel uh, in those many, in, in these five years. Um, yeah, I actually know how to edit. I've been expanding my horizons of, of stuff that I want to make. It's great. And I'm, I'm really enjoying making stuff right now. So yeah, uh, that's enough of my, my ramblings. <laughs> um, I'll actually try and play the game now. Great. <laughs> Not even sure if I got this far in my original game uh, playthrough of it. But, uh, yeah. Oh, another huge improvement uh, to my ability to record content and stuff is I actually have a microphone now. I have a, a legitimate um, microphone. Let's see. Hmm. I'm trying to think. I guess another two or two, three other huge inspirations for me to make content. But in the, this time in like the genre of meme content was uh okay <laughs> was um what uh grande dolan dark and cyrenek i think i followed cyrenek since middle school and um yeah i did because he made the uh the mlg air horn stuff <laughs> the real uh, yeah the awful ear destroying dumb content um then yeah i don't know i've i've always been someone who's watched youtube and then uh what i went from being a viewer to trying to make content which was an interesting transition after being on youtube for so long and then taking a break uh g getting into streaming was definitely a lot easier because you you YouTube requires editing when streaming is just live. I don't know, stream streaming was fun, but now that doesn't really appeal to me anymore. Like it, it still does to a degree, but but not like it used to back in back in 2018. And like I still do stream occasionally, but I, I only play games with friends now. I don't speedrun anymore. I definitely see myself as more of a, a content creator than a streamer now. What? I used to definitely see myself as a streamer back in like 2018 and stuff when I would try and stream on weekends as much as possible and stuff and try and whittle down my, my time speedrunning Mario and now I'm now I'm enjoying making dumb memes. I'm enjoying working on some video essays. Uh, I'm enjoying doing music um, and all that stuff I can't do live. Alright, so I have the strat now, so I press up and then I press right almost immediately afterward, but not at the same time. And then I think that's a pretty foolproof way for me to get over that. But yeah, a lot of things in the world have changed in five years. Another thing that's happened since uh, 2015 is I've... What? A, a lot of things have happened. It's hard to like narrow it down to a few things, but... Um, I am now technically a legal adult, which is insane to me. I I don't feel like an adult, I still feel like a child. Um, what, I've gotten facial hair now, uh, which <laughs> is a very stark uh, contrast to my old videos where I had an absolute baby face. And I'm not used to recording gameplay like this, I'm used to what having an audience, so it's it's very it's very different monologuing. 
while uh, while playing games. I don't know. Uh, I guess that's because what my my brain has been inf infected by by the the streamer virus, where I'm I'm used to having just a an audience that I'm I'm constantly talking to. So okay. Nice. About that bit. Yay, let's go! <laughs> Alright. I don't even think I've ever beaten that level. Um, although I don't really remember because it's been like five years. Okay, so this time... It doesn't help. Okay. <laughs> this is a really fun game. Um, and I forgot. About like, like sure this is meant to be a game to tilt people, but like it's... A genuinely a fun game to see people like, what? Take Mario and then turn it into a troll game. Like, the person who made this was a... A, a game making genius. Yeah, I don't know. Not not a lot of crazy things have happened in the world besides the uh, the obvious uh, quarantining that's going on right now. Although you know, I'm kind of I kind of thankful for for quarantine because if if we didn't have quarantine, I I probably wouldn't be making videos right now. Now I've been playing this for almost an hour. <laughs> Time flies, I guess. Yeah, at least I'm having fun though. If I weren't having fun, uh, I wouldn't be doing this. And also, it's a great way to, what, commemorate the, the five-year anniversary of my first video, for sure. Probably the reason why I don't get tilted at this game is because I love memorizing things. Yeah, I'm surprised this game wasn't DMCA'd by Nintendo. Oh yeah, another thing that's, <laughs> that's happened in, in the last five years is my back hurts all the time now. I'm like an old man. <laughs> uh... Yeah. <laughs> uh, good thing is I'm a very uh, stubborn and determined individual. I wonder what the uh, the speedrun record is for this game. Maybe that could be something I try and do in the future. I don't know. You know what? I I'm. Let's see. How many? I've got three. I've got three levels left. I... I'm gonna come back to this in about like an hour. <laughs> get, get myself a little bit of a, a mental break. So, yeah. I'll be back in an hour. Alright, I'm back. Uh, I took an hour to decompress. Uh, let's see if I'm <laughs> any better. Honestly, this game is a lot more generous than people uh, give it credit for. It could have been a lot worse <laughs> in terms of its difficulty. Like, it's it's no Kaizo Mario for sure. Although that game is meant to be hard on purpose, not to be a troll game. So that's different, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, so there's no, there's no upward blocks. And the fact that there's a block that spawns down below makes me think that I'm supposed to be down there. But I'm not sure. Because in this game, you can't really be sure about anything. Um, it's just trial and error, really, is all that you have. And, like, I can barely not make that, that last jump, which makes me think that I could be supposed to make that jump. And that it's just supposed to be so tight that it's a troll. Of course. Of course it is. <laughs> Bruh. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sure that's happened to some people, but that's that's really funny. Um, I wonder how many people that's like made like genuinely like scream and rage. That's that's funny. <laughs> uh, see, if I were if I were a person who gets tilted. Or like is impatient, then that would happen to me. But I'm not. I am a, a fairly well composed individual. 
Too close. Cool. Good. Come on. Let's go, boys. All right. Bro. Okay. This time, I'm I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, that's not going to work. Need to figure out something new. That's something. I, I, I'm 90... I, I'm pretty sure that I can make that. Like, in, in all seriousness, I, I think that I generally can make that. I told you I could. Ha! Alright. Yeah, I can absolutely make this. Let's go! Ha ha ha! Okay. I do think that... Is that it? Is that it? Did I, did I beat the game? I did it! I think that's the first time I've beaten this game. Ever. I don't think I've beaten it before. Well, uh, this has been me playing uh, Unfair Mario and uh, commemorating the five year anniversary of the uh, first video on my channel. Uh, I hope you guys liked this and uh, I will see you guys next time. And remember, don't leave anything up to chance. Bye.